hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see how to implement open file operation previously we have done new file operation where we can uh, create a new file from a particular state the application is set on now we are going to see how to open a file in your notepad I have attached the source code for this particular video in the link given below in the description also the complete source code in uh, github link as well so you can use it uh, to follow along or you can type it on, our own, on your own so let's get started to the, to the coding part we are going to write the code for open menu item so in this function we are going to write all the code necessary to open a particular file so the basic thing we are going to use is open file dialog and create a new dialog object and set a filter to it in this case we are going to set the filter as text and then set a uh, initial directory for this dialog object and I am setting it as uh, D you can set any folder you want and just setting it as D so that it will open uh, on uh, D drive and finally you need to give a title to this dialog object I'm giving as open file So once this is done you need to simply show the dialog so if open file dot show dialog and like we have done before you need to check dialog result is ok if the user has clicked ok you need to do this that's it so what if the user clicked ok so you need to save the file in this case so I am sorry you need to open this file in this case open the content and just assign it to text area so that user can view the content and in file operation we need to have a new function open file and we need to give the path to this fi file so the path can be taken by open dot file name it gives the complete absolute path needed to open this file this open file function takes the path and then gives back the string as written value we can go ahead and add this method in file operation so this part is over we need to write open file implementation part so the thing about this is we need to update the view as well so this will uh, take care of the title so one particular uh, problem we might face here is when you are opening the file and setting it to the text of text area it actually triggers the text change event of text area and we have written something here that is the file status is set to be false which makes a star come in the title and we don't want this to happen because the file is already saved and it's open and is still in saved state and so you can just get rid of this thing by uh, temporarily uh, removing the event handler part so the, this can be done by just uh, minus equal to text so this is how the event handler for the particular event can be removed and it won't this whole application won't uh, respond to the text change event in uh, text area component and then after it's assigned you need to reassign this function to the particular uh, event and 
it works perfectly well so now we have uh, op used a file di open file dialog and uh, just got the file name and then we will be using the open file function in file operation and then assign the text to this particular test area that's how uh, this open operation happens and now we can edit this file operation class So let's have a new data member here. So it's private string file location and also add the property to file location as well. So that's it. We have added a new parameter that is file location a new variable inside this class and it will hold the path to the particular file itself and we can just rename it as file location and so this function gets the file path and opens the file and finally sends the string back to the calling functions so just we need to have a string variable to hold the content here and finally we need to uh, use this uh, file location and uh, use stream objects to read uh, the file and just string send the string back to the calling function itself let's just do a uh, file location this dot file location is equal to file location so that we can uh, have it here and then we need to create a stream object basically to read the file import uh, the using statement using statement uh, the io name class itself it needs to be there so that we can use the stream class and then we need to create an object to this uh, stream class by uh, using file dot open you need to give this uh, file location and uh, you need to set the file mode what mode uh, you need to set it as open here and finally we need to give set the access file access and it's read and write that's okay now we have this stream object and we are capable of uh, reading from this stream so we need a stream reader to read from the stream we are going to create it now stream reader and stream create a stream reader object sorry that gets the parameter as stream and we can open and close the curly brace the only thing we need to do this is we need to assign all the contents to the string content so the stream reader object can be used for here and the function to be used is read to end so it will read all the contents of the file and store it in in the string itself and finally we need to return this string so before that we need to do something else here string basically we need to update the file name based on the file selected so we need to extract it from the file location variable so we are uh, going to use a substring function for that and we are going to find it based on the location of uh, I mean um, we need to find the location of last occurrence of last index of this uh, slash backslash I mean so we need to find this particular location in this file path I actually you could see here we are just trying to a file location will be like uh, file.txt 
so we are trying to just get this location and then we are going to separate out only this part and the substring will return this file name alone that's what we are trying to achieve here in this statement and I think it's done we will get the file name in this string and we need to assign it back to this class file name so we have assigned it now and finally we need to update this save status is saved and uh, set it to true so there is nothing to save because the file is just opened here I think we are ready to see the demo now we can just build this so now we can click on open it shows op a open dialog box and we can just open this text so it's open the file opens and all this contents are displayed to the user so that's open operation and uh, in the next video we will be coming with uh, save operation we will be integrating uh, the save operation with new uh, the part that is uh, left in the previous video and uh, in the next video i think i could be able to complete all this operation and file operations will be over so thanks for watching this video subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you